come to to your third song for absolute beginners on the baritone ukulele. Nothing like a good murder ballad for the ukulele, right? We're going to level up our expertise. We are going to change up our strumming a little bit. Strumming patterns are so very important to making things sound interesting on the ukulele and well and on the guitar too. So we're going to use our thumb and do what is a thumb strum. And we are going to be going thumb first and then down, two, three, four, thumb, down. Why the thumb? Well, I want you to have more control because we're going to go a little bit slower, just by scooch, as we go down our strings so that each string has an attack to it or it's articulated is the highfalutin music word for it. So it's two, three, four. And that gives us what's called, another highfalutin word, an arpeggio. An arpeggio is when a chord is broken up into its little pieces, parts, components. And so we're going to hear each string ringing out their tone on the chord. And it gives just a little bit different sound. And it's also, with our thumb, we're going to have some more weight, two, three, four, weight, two, three, four, by weight, more emphasis, more volume. Let's do a little practice session with that, just on our G chord, practicing changing our strum to one thumb and then four regular downs. So you've got to kind of change your hand position, slowly. One, two, here we go. Thumb. practice on that? Well, you're probably just perfectly normal. And I always recommend that you really get your favorite beverage and just, you know, kind of hang out and play the ukulele for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes just practicing a skill in isolation. That's how I did it. Let's play the chords for this song. Each time you see a chord symbol or chord letter, we are going to play one pattern of the thumb strum. So each one of these, thumb, two, three, four, thumb, two, three, four, get the idea? Okay, so here we go. Just practicing the chords and our new strumming. One, two, ready, here we go. Thumb, two, this through twice and I'm going to be humming the tune to the song. Can you hum the tune? Did you know this song? Pretty gruesome song, but you know that's kind of like, that's kind of an American tradition. Oh and a British tradition too. So one, two, here we go.
already gotten songbook to go with this series. If not, what are you waiting for? <laughs> In addition to the songs and the chords and all that, it has the strumming suggestions, the starting vocal pitch. It also has a link to my suggested warm-up. Also says, hey, you know, you should play this song or that song first, just as a warm-up as well. It has the link to the play-along and then also a link to the lessons. So you can get there, shortcut your learning, do the warm-ups, do a song before you get into this, and you will be on your way in no time. Let's play it together. Your starting pitch, hang down. One, two, ready, again. Hang down your head, Tom, to a leaf. Hang down your head and cry. You know, B students rule the world. I know I am. Uh, I teach university classes too. You don't want to get so stuck on perfection that you don't keep moving ahead. And so, um, I guess maybe another way of saying is don't be a perfectionist. Be having a reasonable amount of success and then move forward, but don't go like, oh, I haven't got it perfect yet. You know, 80% is good keep moving forward let me know in the comments how are things going i answer my comments once a week unless i'm horribly sick or somebody in my family is horribly sick so please do that leave me a comment let me know how your journey's going thanks for watching to the very end and thank you so much to all my patrons